Hey guys and gals, what's up? This is Gimli1357 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get all three of the secret achievements in Bright Memory. These achievements involve getting all the collectibles, as well as snuffing out a candle near the end of the game. To start off, you're going to want to do a new game, or new game plus if you're there, and start out taking out these three guys after you get out of the elevator. Immediately turn around and you will find your first collectible, which is a little box copy of Warstorm. This will also net you the achievement One Life to Live, but it won't pop until you actually beat the game or go back to the main menu. For some reason, they don't pop during the game. Moving on from there, though, you'll get teleported outside, see this campfire, fight a couple wolves, and walk into this little enclosure thing to the right, and you will find a rusty copper pot. Go ahead, pick that one up. That is the second collectible of the game. Then you'll get to this point after you do a little bit of a large battle where it'll want you to grapple across, but before you do that, you're going to jump down into the water and find a disc fragment just below the waterfall. That is your third collectible. Moving on, once you have to crawl under some rocks in the water and a little body pops up and scares you, you'll see this wooden thing that you're supposed to break, but first, pick up the air serpent statue off to the left. It'll be your fourth collectible for this. Then once you get into the cave, you'll fight, have a big battle in this area where you'll have to grapple across afterwards, blow out this fire, and then fight a few wolves. Once you take out all of the wolves, it's going to want you to turn a little wheel to the right, but before you do that, go ahead and pick up the dog tag next to this body laying on the ground. That is your fifth collectible. And now you're going to be moving to where you see the bonfire, where there's a little fire and a sword in it. Walk across some scaffolding, and the little light orb that you're supposed to do for the mission is off to the right. But first, you're going to pick up the Jade statue that's just to the left once you get across the cavern. Then, the last collectible is part of the game. You have to pick this one up to complete the game, Ritual Wine Vessel. Go ahead, grab that. That is all seven collectibles and will net you the Grave Robber achievement. But while you're in this room, you might as well pull out your pistol and shoot out a couple candles because that will net you the Too Busy achievement for snuffing out a candle. You don't have to do all of them, but, you know, it's good measure. And that's it. Like I said, you have to go back to the main menu, so beat the game or just exit out and you will get your achievement pops. So you can see right there, Grave Robber for 200 gamer score, all the collectibles, as well as Too Busy for 120 to snuff out a candle. So that was it. Three achievements. I didn't have the pop for One Life to Live, but you get that one as soon as you pick up the very first collectible. That's 160 gamer score. Grave Robber for 200 gamer score and too busy for 120 gamer score the total of 480 gamer score all in one run i hope you guys enjoyed this little guide tune into gamers guide and the gamers guide channel xbox club for more achievement tips shorts and guides see y'all later folks